This is the instructional video for the Service Rifle EIC match of the U.S. Army Small Arms Championship. Each soldier that competes will need the following standard equipment for this match. Advanced combat helmet, ballistic eye protection and ear protection. Body armor with magazine pouches for both rifle and pistol, minimum of four pistol magazines and six rifle magazines. First aid pouch, one canteen and carrier or one camelback and issued pistol holster. Body armor plates will not be required for this match. Service rifle, such as an M16 or M4 with two point nylon sling. So the short card starts at 500 yards, goes 400, 300, 200, and 100. What's gonna happen is you'll fire your 10, 10 rounds at each yard line. They're gonna score the target. So for example, at 500 yards, you shoot your 10 rounds and the uh, target would come up with your score in it. And it would say you have four X's, um, two fives, and four fours. The way you would score that is right. One, two, three, four X's, one, two fives, and then the next four, seven, eight, nine, ten, would be all fours down here. Once you get your score, you total the whole thing up, and at the end, you'll total this column all the way down to match total. After you total the, the scorecard, and you turn before you turn it into your uh, uh, line and your block official, then you need to make sure your shooter label is on it and your scorer label. You also need to make sure that you sign. By signing the scorecard, you verify that the score on the match total is correct. This match will have the soldier engage various targets with their rifle at multiple distances and positions to complete the course of fire. The course of fire begins with the 400 yard prone, shooting one magazine of 10 rounds in a time limit of two minutes. The soldier will begin 25 yards from the firing line. Upon appearance of the targets, they will move forward, assume the prone firing position, chamber around and engage their targets. Upon completion of firing, the soldier will remove the magazine and ensure the rifle is clear. Your target will appear showing your groups and scores. The second course of fire begins with the 300 yard prone, shooting two magazines of five rounds in a time limit of 60 seconds. The soldier will begin 25 yards from the firing line. Upon appearance of the targets, they will move forward, assume the prone firing position, chamber around and engage their targets, with their first magazine, change magazines, and shoot their second five round magazine. Upon completion of firing, the soldier will remove the magazine and ensure the rifle is clear. The third course of fire begins with a 200 yard kneeling, shooting two magazines of five rounds in a time limit of 50 seconds. The soldier will begin 25 yards from the firing line. Upon appearance of the targets, they will move forward assume the kneeling firing position, chamber around and engage their targets with their first magazine, change magazines, and shoot their second five round magazine. Upon completion of firing, the soldier will remove the magazine and ensure the rifle is clear. It is essential that the soldier assume the correct kneeling position. The elbows may rest on the shooter's knees for support. The rifle will be supported by both hands and one shoulder. The rifle or magazine may be rested on the knee for support. The buttocks must be clear of the ground, but may rest on one foot. The fourth stage of fire will be at 100 yards from the standing and kneeling positions, shooting two magazines of five rounds each with a time limit of 40 seconds. At this stage, your target will have two silhouettes. You must engage the first silhouette with five rounds from the standing position and then engage the second silhouette with five rounds from the kneeling position. The soldier will begin 25 yards from the firing line. Upon appearance of the targets, they will move forward, assume the standing firing position, chamber around and engage their targets with their first magazine, then change magazines assuming the kneeling position to shoot their second five round magazine. Upon completion of firing, the soldier will remove the magazine and ensure the rifle is clear. The fifth and final stage of fire, you will be engaging targets at 75, 50, and 25 yards from the standing position at the low ready. 
you will use one magazine of 10 rounds for the entire stage. The time limits are 4 seconds at 75 yards, 3 seconds at 50 yards, and 2 seconds at 25. At this stage, your target will also have two silhouettes. The competitors will begin the stage by performing lock and load, chamber and around at the 75 yard line. At the sound of the horn, competitors will have four seconds to fire as many rounds as desired at either silhouette. Competitors will then move to the 50 yard line and at the sound of the horn, competitors will have three seconds to fire as many rounds as desired at either silhouette. Competitors will then move to the 25 yard line and at the sound of the horn, competitors will have two seconds to fire as many rounds as desired at either silhouette. It is important to note that competitors must end up with five rounds on each silhouette. Excessive hits will be treated as misses. Upon completion of firing, the soldier will remove the magazine and ensure the rifle is clear, inserting his open bolt indicator and making the weapon safe. Competitors will also be required to pull targets when not competing. It is important to understand the PIP procedures to ensure a fair and safe competition for all. During the slow fire stages of the rifle matches, it is important for all the competitors to be aware of their surroundings and what the course of fire is. During slow fire, when a shot comes in on your target, you'll hear a loud crack. Always be watching the target for shots. When you see a shot on your target, pull the target into the bit. Insert the shot spotter with the corresponding color facing out. If a shot is anywhere in the black, the white side faces out. If you have a shot out in the white, the black side faces out. Insert the shot spotter into the shot hole. It's a four. Take the orange value marker. This indicates the value of the shot and place it in the corresponding shot hole. It's marked X, five, four, three, and two. Run the target back in the air. Once they fire their shot, get the appropriate paster needed to cover up the shot on the target. If you have a shot in the black, you need a black paster. If you have a shot in the white, you'll need a white paster. Paste up that shot hole and leave the target in the air until they fire their next shot in the bit. Paste up the shot hole, move the shot spotter to the new hole location, make sure the value is according to the shot, and run the target back in the air. When in the pits, Keep all hands and objects below the berm. Cell phone and radio use are prohibited for safety and to ensure there is no communication from the pits and the line between competitors. Be sure to focus on the task at hand and not your personal communication device. This will make for a more fair and efficient competition without unnecessary delays.